Hello guys, my name is Muhammad Aiman and I am from group 3. This group is consists of 7 person and each one of them will try their best to explain to you guys about the process that maybe you never heard about it before. This process is called as uh, the Sherrick Gordon process. It is used to extract and concentrate nickel from its ore, uh, which is sulfide ore. Okay, so how do we extract nickel from sulfide? But before that, we know that nickel is the most important thing in our life because nickel, because from nickel we can make battery, we can make a coin. Our coins are usually made from nickel. Okay, so nickel usually are in the ores called nickel sulfides. So nickel sulfide is a uh, inorganic solution and the color is like dark okay. as we know nickel sulfide is an inorganic compound with a formula nis here and it is a black solid that is produced by treating nickel salt with hydrogen sulfide okay so many nickel sulfide are known as including a mineral mi mineral millerite which also the formula is nis Okay, so how do we extract nickel from sulfide? Okay, so the first thing in a sulfide ore, we are going to crush and ground it to liberate minerals from waste product. So we ground it and crush the mineral with the process called flotation, flotation process. Okay, then the waste product, we are going to do a second cleaning. So maybe there is some uh, concentrated product and uh, there is some uh, concentrated ores in the nickel. Okay, so some nickel sulfide are magnetic. Okay, so we are going to use uh, magnetic separation to separate the nickel. Okay, so then um, a Sudbury deposit where copper contains the ore almost equal to the nickel. Okay, so the concentrated is subjected to a second selective flotation where the copper is floated to produce a low nickel copper concentrated after we liberate the mineral so how do we extract the nickel from sulfide okay first we do the open pit mining which consists of 0.2% of nickel 0.5% of zinc 0.1% of copper and 0.02% of cobalt sulfide ore then we use first stage of crushing Okay, then with a rotary kiln agglomerations with sulfide acid, then we are stacking the agglomerates with 8 meter height. Okay, then we are do the leaching nickel and other metal for the agglomerate from the agglomerates by sprinkling metal depleted purified recycled solution on the heaps, and lastly, we maintaining adequate temperature and condition to promote bacterial activity. It is to provide approximately 50,000 tons per year. Recent production has been considerably lower. Welcome back. I hope you guys stay awake and full of energy so that we can explain furthermore on the process flow sheet. What is flow sheet? Flow sheet is the combinations of all unit operations and unit process. What are unit operations involved in the process in the Sherrick Gordon process for sulfide ore? Okay. Crushing and grinding, flotation and drying were used in this process. Crushing can be done in combinations of several stages, uh, such as when the feed, which is sulfide ore, will be crushed from primary crushing and then the secondary crushing and can be for the tertiary crushing because it is actually depends on the desired particle size that we want okay and meanwhile grinding is used to liberate valuable minerals from gang minerals that is important because grinding is used to liberate nickel uh, so that we can use the leaching process later on next what is flotation flotation is a method used to separate and concentrate the valuable mineral 
but this process will result in high moisture content whereby this is why drying step is important because it is used to reduce the moisture content easily using the drying furnace then what are the unique process involved in sherry golden process for sapphire ore it's melting leaching distillation purification scrubbing and copper removal were used so smelting process is used to produce an artificial nickel iron sulfate known as MET. After the conversion process of iron to an oxide, 70 to 75% of nickel MET is obtained. Next, leaching. Leaching in sherry golden process is the use of ammonia and pressure to treat nickel, and which is the nickel that has been liberated from the grinding process. The nickel is recovered using hydrogen reduction by purification process. Then, what is distillation and scrubbing? It is the process in removal of ammonia in form of gas. Next, what is copper removal? Copper removal is to remove, is to remove the copper from the amine solution by adding ammonia and hydrogen. That results in precipitation of copper sulfide. Okay, what is amine solution? Amine solution is consists of nickel, copper, and cobalt, and with certain amount of unbound ammonia. For further on, Faris and Afik will discuss the explanation about the unit operations and unit processes in more detail. Assalamualaikum to everyone. My name is Mama Fairy bin Mama Arifin. I am Mineral Resources Engineering student and from University of Science of Malaysia. And today I'm going to talk about the unit process of the sherry golden process. So there is actually ten parts of the unit process of the sherry golden process. I'm going to talk about part one to five, where the rest is going to be explained my friend which is Faris. So the first point is the sulfide ore will crush and ground it to the desired particle size. Later, the liberated ore then floated with chemical reagents, presented and frozen to a concentrate of 8 to 20 semicron, which later filtered to about 6% moisture. Then, the smelters will produce a nickel iron sulfide metal which contain 25 to 45 percent nickel. Later, the iron in the mat will converted to an oxide, leaving a mat which is 70 to 75 percent nickel. And then, the nickel mat then crush and ground to liberate the nickel minerals. So, the rest of it, I'm gonna leave you with Faris. Hi guys, I'm Faris. So I will continue explaining about the process that will happen next. So the min uh, nickel minerals will pump into the autoclaves where the concentrate is leached under pressure with ammonia. And then in this stage, the leach solution will containing the nickel, copper and cobalt solution as the amine ex complexes. So, the copper solution will be removed by adding ammonia and hydrogen to ensure precipitation. And then, the cobalt, nickel cobalt solution will be purified by two processes which is hydrolysis process and oxidation process. Lastly, the purified co nickel cobalt solution pass through the hydrogen reduction process where batchwise reduction in the autoclaves will produce high purified nickel powder This is a reaction equation for nickel sulfide This process to remove sulfur from nickel and cobalt by reactor with a sulfuric acid and pressure air to get an 
NiSO4 and COSO4 Ammonia leaching is to adjust pH for the solution by NH3 we react with H2O and Fe3 we react with OH and get NH4OH and FeOH3 Okay, for the next process, uh, we just acid sulfate leaching. Uh, this process, which is uh, the product from the ammonia leaching, which is nickel uh, sulfate, we treat with uh, acid sulfate division of water to produce nickel and ammonia based sulfate. This product has a green color and really soluble in water. Uh, which is the product is in soluble form after that uh, it's a recent process um, this process which is uh, the product from the acid sulfate leaching will crystallize or evaporated to produce nickel sulfate and ammonia basal, uh, basal sulfate for the next step we uh, Treatment of concentrated uh, sodium hydroxide, which is a uh, product from the crystallization from the previous process. Uh, we treat with sodium hydroxide to produce nickel hydroxide. For the last, the last step is electrolysis with uh, acid sulfuric. The electrolysis uh, we conduct we nickel hydroxide hydroxide to produce a uh, nickel sulfate which is the number of uh, oxidation number will reduce which is a uh, reduction process hi my name is Muhammad Anwar my part is conclusion from the study of the relevant literature a summary regarding the leaching of nickel sulfide mineral can be made. The extraction of nickel from a sulfide ore by means of pressure acid leaching is viable under specific conditions. The leaching efficiency depends greatly on the specific process variable such as temperature, pressure, pH, particle grain size and leach reagent. An increase in temperature and pressure enhance the reaction rate with less to smaller time required for complete dissolution. High leach reagent concentration such as sulfur acid does not really improve the extraction of the variable method but only influenced by the product formation. Mechanical activation by means of ultra fine milling offers significant advantage for the extraction of the variable metal from sulfide ore. The activation energy reduced for the extraction of nickel from the sulfide orange between 20 and 100 kJ per mole. That's all, thank you.